Hello everyone, I'm Tony from Intuit Activity. And as you know, um, my activity seekers, um, there is some special, hmm, I'm going to say there are some special trinkets coming up for you all. You're going to be receiving checks in the mail. You're going to be getting advances at work. You're going to be offered credit cards. You're going to be opened up new doors. Okay, meaning for a job or home or car, vehicle, what have you, where all that's like the good that has been being put out on your behalf to others, your giving has actually induced a labor of receiving. Okay, so you're about to see a big increase a big financial increase and if it's not really big it could be a nice little lump sum um of abundance some of you your abundance is going to come in the shape and form of fashion of a child having a family becoming bigger um that's also being abundant um you're going to um possibly some of you are praying for like new cars and new homes and stuff of that nature um, but I'm seeing someone here specifically um, finding out they're pregnant and don't know how they're going to provide for this child. And uh, you may be a star seed and you're just struggling because of maybe some choices you made and, you know, you still wanted to keep your child. So you're going to be getting a surprise, my dear. Someone's going to be uh, donating like baby items, uh, beds. Housing is going to open up for you. Things are just going to fall into favor for you, okay? There's nothing else you'll need to do besides stay productive if you have a job and continue to pray, okay? Continue to build your equity with whatever you can do, still do. I'm seeing that maybe you're on bed rest or something like that and your income is low. So there's things that's going to be opening up for you in that way. Now, the reason for this message that I've come on is because I wanted to share with those who feel that they are better than others, <laughs> those who feel like they're rich, <laughs> The stars, the, you know, actors, whoever, singers, rappers, dancers, whoever these people the fuck are, okay? Or whoever they think they are. Um, there is a message specifically through Holy Spirit. If you have been involved in any kind of spell work against star seeds or people that you're just taking and draining energy from doing rituals on trying to harvest their energy and hold on to their energy and move in their energy or whatever the fuck y'all call yourselves doing with these sacrifices the only sacrificial lamb that could have ever got sacrificed to god was jesus himself okay sacrificing after bc it's like what what the fuck is you offering blood for why are you offering sacrifices of god's children back to him do you know how of an abomination that is so let me tell you what god's going to do since y'all didn't decided to do this there's a door that's open okay this door is always open it's been open for eons of years. It's just this door open. God uses this door. Okay. When he wants. To send out angels. To come harvest your ass. Okay. Meaning. He's collecting those little demons. That you all are summoning. And stuff like that. OK, there's a collection in the spiritual warfare. Did you forget that the Bible says that Satan and his demons will be getting locked up? 
okay? He's out here running free right now. And he's getting hunted down. So, the point I'm trying to make here <clears throat> is those same demons that you're summoning, God's using these angels, okay? He, even if they're bad, he uses all of these things. This is his world, not ours. We just inhabit the land. And you motherfuckers are using the energy to destroy the land, destroy people's, God's people, destroy people's lives, destroy their faith, to just kill, seek, kill, and destroy. So if that's that shit you own, God's about to destroy you. And everything that you think you have is not yours. None of this shit is ours. I've said that so many times on my channel. We can't take none of this shit with us when we die. So what is it to you if somebody else passes their test? See, you got to be a complete fool. To sell your soul to the devil, a trickster, a deceiver, a destroyer, an illusionist. And you're up under an illusion, thinking that you're going to destroy any of God's children. If God's hand is truly on these people that you're constantly attacking, and throwing ritual spells, voodoo, weird ass blood, sacrificial shit. Just because you feel like you can. God's going to show you what he's capable and can and willing and will fucking do.